recruit, we recruit all over the country. The Diamond Aircraft is a great recruiting tool for us. When you walk out on the ramp, they're just neat looking airplanes and they look sleek, they look attractive. And that gets the student looking at our program. Diamonds are an easy thing to use as an advertising tool. They are aesthetically pleasing, they are technologically advanced, and it makes advertising our flight program so much easier. It's just one more element that we add to the many advantages of coming to MTSU. Bumper stick up front is we are the brand name in Aeronautical University in the United States, the brand name in collegiate flight training. A college education with flight training is absolutely the best professional way to start a career. And let me give you just a reason why. MTSU's been around a long time. The school was founded in 1911. The early 2000s, we started with mismatched airplanes. We were buying used airplanes and making sure they were the best we could make them be. Prescott's motto is America's hometown, and it really feels like that for our students when they come here for school. Arizona Mountain West airspace that is just so valuable for their training. But we're at high altitude, 5,000 feet MSL, where you can get very warm in the summer. You might be at density altitudes approaching 13, 14, maybe even 15,000 feet. I grew up around race car driving but I always had a strong passion for aviation. I got involved with STEM programming, robotics, and had all-girls coding club that I had started. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. FedEx is really huge there. You can see everybody just coming in on the approach uh, one by one by one, so you can see it all the time, and I think that's what fostered that feel for aviation. I didn't really come from anyone else in my family being a pilot. I'm a first-gen pilot. No one in my family had told me. No one in my area had told me that this is a possibility of a job. Tearing my ACL while I was a soccer player back in high school, I honestly didn't know what I wanted to do as a job later on in life. We were seeing that our aircraft fleet was aging, but there was a lot of stuff on the horizon, and we wanted to be part of that. We saw that this technology was gonna be coming. If we could get a new fleet, this would be a great opportunity for us. So we had some very foresightful people on campus that were leading the department at the time. They approached the university and the university sponsors some projects. They try to get through the state legislature for funding and uh, we, we were selected. Uh, granted us the state bond issue that was able to cover the purchase of our new fleet. About three years ago, we were looking for 100% fleet replenishment, deciding what would be our twin engine trainer. Very high on our scale is the idea of safety. Also very capable on a single engine. But on our acquisition process, we did a five-year life cycle, expected operational costs for all the competitors, and Diamond has the lowest five-year operational cost that we would expect based on their performance rate, based on their engine and fuel consumption. And in two critical features for the diamond, they won out completely against the competition. The first is the composite body is rated and very safe structurally compared to some other methods of aircraft construction. And the other thing is the diamond, it can fly on a single engine safely up to about 13,000 feet, which ensures a better safety margin for our students. Those were the two major factors that drove us to purchase the fleet that we have today. So our goal is making sure that the students have the newest equipment available, the newest technology, the newest avionics. It has a great safety record, which is very important to us. You want an airplane that's forgiving. You want an airplane that's safe. Diamond meets all of these requirements for us. And then here's the cost structure. We are not losing any money in this situation. The airplanes are very, very cost effective for us to operate. So the one-time state bond issue we got is how we got funds to get the first initial fleet. But since then, everything has been paid for out of pocket as we've gone. I say we are very spoiled here at MTSU for the airplanes that we get to fly because the Diamond is honestly such a wonderful aircraft. All the features that it offers is so streamlined for students. It's so easy to learn in. 
I love that plane. I think it's probably one of the easiest planes to fly, but I think anybody can learn in it. If you have the G1000 systems and you have that DA-40, you can learn, especially here at Middle Tennessee State University. I always get excited. Multi-engine performance is just really hard to beat. Like today, we were climbing at 2,000 feet per minute at 9,000 feet in the middle of the summer with air conditioning. The FADEC, it allows our students to learn now how to operate this technology and to carry that with them as they get to more advanced aircraft or larger aircraft. The other one, it's less pleasant to talk about, but survivability and crash is a factor. And, you know, the cockpit of the Diamond is rated at 25 Gs, which is an immense amount of force that you would not normally experience in a off-airport or off-field landing. What I tell parents is your student will not fly with a broken part ever. That's an incredibly high standard. And that usually gives the parents quite a bit of comfort. So Embry-Riddle and Diamond, I feel like we provide a pretty uh, high level of safety for our students with all of these factors put together. I guess good problems with regards to our Diamond aircraft is we don't have enough of them. We need more, so we can, we can use more aircraft. Our department has been growing really fast, being around six or 700 students total to now being just under 1,300 students. While most universities overall have seen a decline in student numbers, our program has seen an exponential increase. I don't think anybody in the collegiate aviation industry thinks of each other as competitors. I've actually had other schools ask me, why did you choose the Diamond Airplane? So that's where I kind of get into that discussion about the safety record, the easy maintenance, the cost effectiveness of the program, and we're able to provide lower cost option to our students. That's why we invested in eight additional Diamond airplanes this year. For me, I feel like I'm doing them a service when I get to share our experiences of maintaining diamonds. And then I tell them, well, we have 30-something airplanes and I have six mechanics, and they're like, I've got six mechanics and I only have 15 airplanes. And I'm like, that's because you don't have diamonds. There's no way we could be doing what we're doing if it wasn't for diamonds. And that's what I usually tell people when they ask. We've never had an injury in a diamond. I've been very fortunate and I can only thank diamond for that. Uh, there was a time that uh, sleeping at night was sometimes difficult just because I knew we had a lot of activity going on. I sleep just fine now. Now that we have diamonds, I, I have no problem sleeping. I know on the back end, it's gonna be so rewarding. It might be more of an expensive aircraft, an expensive purchase for our university to make, but it's rewarding on the back end because students are getting such good, efficient, and quality training in the aircraft. I'm now graduating this May 5th with no loans, which is crazy. And that's the biggest thing with flying. It's an investment at the end of the day. Invest in yourself because it's gonna return the favor. You'll never find an opportunity like the one you'll find here. That's how piloting changed my life, is that I finally had found this career path that was truly meant for me. Nothing could compare to how I felt when I was on this campus. Not only could I pursue my flying dreams, but I had this surreal feeling that anything I wanted could be possible here. College is, a, that's very expensive, right? But really what's important is the value proposition. At Embry-Riddle, you're getting this high quality of training that has a very significant return on investment. So for example, F-150 Platinum Edition Super Duty pickup truck will cost you $85,000. I'm not sure what its value is gonna be five years later, but I can tell you that a student that graduates from our program at $85,000 will be making $100,000 a year in five years and will earn over $13 million during their career as an airline pilot. So the return on investment, the value proposition, it's out there for parents to look at. And then when we start to talk about the capabilities of the Diamond and we talk about the safety features and we talk about the reliability, that brings it home to them. They go, okay, that's where I wanna be. I wanna graduate having the best initial training I could possibly have. And that's what Embry-Riddle offers. And part of the reason we offer it that is because we fly Diamonds.